Praise the Lord. For two is my portion in 2024. Please, let's rise tonight and give God all the glory. Let's give him all the thanks. Let's give him all the praise. Everyone in church, please rise and give God all the thanks and give God all the praise. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the thanks for he's a faithful God. Father, we say thank you. Lord, we magnify your holy name. Appreciate him tonight. Give him all the glory. Give him all the thanks for his faithfulness. Thank him. Appreciate him. Give him all the glory. From the depth of your heart, thank him tonight. Say, Father, I thank you. I return all glory and honor to you. I bless your holy name. Thank him. Appreciate him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the thanks. For this week of spiritual emphasis, give him glory. Give him all the thanks for the strength, for the empowerment, for continuity. Father, we say thank you. We thank you for the one which was yesterday. We thank you for today. Father, we magnify your holy name for what you are set to do in our service again tonight. Father, we lift up our eyes to the hills from whence cometh our help. Our help come from you, Lord, who made heaven our head. You never sleep, you never slumber. Thank him tonight. I appreciate him for encounter I expected tonight, for visitation I expected tonight. Thank him. Father, we bless your holy name. We magnify your holy name. Lord, for the victory on the altar of prayer, thank him. I appreciate him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the thanks. Father, we bless your holy name. Let's commit this service tonight to God's hand. Father, visit us again tonight. Father, send forth that world. Your life transforming world. Your life turn around world. Lord, send it tonight. Let every yoke be broken. Lord, let every yoke be broken. Send that healing world again tonight. By the communion table, Lord, visit us again tonight. Open our eyes of understanding. Fresh revelation, fresh insight, Lord, fresh impact of your word. Anoint your servant and friends to speak the right word. The word in season, don't matter word. Pray for your encounter tonight. Pray for your visitation. Father, send that word again tonight. Send that life transforming word. The life turn around world. Visit us again tonight by your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, let's welcome the Holy Ghost to take over this service tonight. Father, we say thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Lord, we give you thanks. Holy Ghost, take over the service again tonight. Minister your word like never before. Lord, visit us again tonight. Father, we bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Please, let's put our hands together as we welcome the priest in.
mighty Father in heaven, alone be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, now forevermore. Our mighty Father.
follow. I will go all out for you. Only you I will serve. I am no other God. Jehovah is see Thank you, Jesus. You are my king. I will worship every day. Clap of praise and please be comfortably seated. Shortly we shall rise to pray. And this time we are saying, Father, let the seal of the Holy Ghost protect all our new converts from all satanic attacks so they can be established in this church for life. It's stronger and better. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 13, in whom ye also trusted. After that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Shall we please rise as we raise our voices, saying, Father, let the seal of the Holy Ghost protect all our new combats from all satanic attacks so they can be established in this church for life. Raise your voices. As we engage tonight, we are praying with faith and full confidence in our God. We are demanding for the seal of the Holy Ghost upon all of our new combats, old and young, male and female, against all satanic attacks so they can be established in this church for life. Every new combat, our Father set the seal of the Holy Ghost for their protection, for their preservation against all satanic attacks so they can be established in this church for life. In the name of Jesus the Christ, no new combat shall be lost on the account of satanic assault. No new combat shall be lost on the account of satanic harassment. Our Father set the seal of the Holy Ghost to protect all our new combat from all satanic attacks so they can be established in this church for life. Raise your voice and show your prayer tonight. You are engaging with full confidence. You are engaging with faith in your heart. We are praying, demanding for the protection of all our new combat. And that includes your new combat and my own new combat. And everyone put together, raise your voices. I shall make that demand in the name of Jesus. And they went from one nation to the other. You suffered no man to do them wrong. You reprove kings for their sakes. Our Father, let that be the experience of all our new combat. Set a seal. Turn every new combat to a touch not entity. In the name of Jesus the Christ, all our new combat 
old and young, male and female, said the seal of the Holy Ghost, the seal of protection, the seal of preservation against all satanic attacks in the name of of Jesus the Christ. Yes, all our new combat are established in this church for life. No satanic assault, no satanic harassment. Associate yourselves, all you people, you shall be broken in pieces for God is with us. Our Father, the seal of the Holy Ghost to protect all our new combat from all satanic attacks. Someone raise your voice and show your brain Tonight you are praying fervently. You can pray in the spirit. You can pray in your understanding. Engage in the whole of your heart. Making the demand on the Lord tonight for the protection of all our new converts. In the name of Jesus the Christ from all satanic attack. So they can be established in this church for life. In the name of Jesus the Christ our Father. Set the seed of the Holy Ghost to protect all our new converts. From a satanic attack, someone raise your voice, engage in the spirit right now as we take delivery of the protection of all our new converts. It's so many anate, it's Sebra Katama, Meriande de Ketonia, Arrecota, Embarade, it's Sebredia, Marito Sosia, Akeperia de Nata, across the nation, wherever they are found, in all of their endeavors, in their going out, in their coming in. Our Father set the sail of the Holy Ghost. Setoniata, Eberreketania, Mante Bregetu Sosia. All our new combat become touch not entities established in this church as you secure them by the sail of the Holy Ghost. Erotobia, Meke Periata, Eberreketania, Mante Bregetu Sosia. Raise your hands, wave it to Him. Appreciate Him. He has had us again tonight. Our Father, thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Please give the Lord a big clap of praise and you may be seated. We are going to be rising up to pray next and this shall be our prayer line. We we'll say, Father, grant supernatural utterance to every soul winner on the go for Christ as we intensify our outreaches this month leading to massive salvation of souls. Acts chapter 2, 37 and 41, a bridge. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Please rise on your feet with me right now. Let's leave this prayer line unto our Father. Say, Father, grant supernatural utterance to every soul winner on the go for Christ as we intensify our outreaches this month, leading to massive salvation of souls. Pray, Father, grant supernatural utterance to every soul winner and on the go for Christ as we intensify our outreaches this month, leading to massive salvation of souls. Lift your voice and pray intensely. We are asking our Father, grant supernatural utterance to every soul winner on the go for Christ as we intensify our outreaches this month, leading to massive salvation of souls. Lift your voice and pray there is an agenda of God. In this month, Father, we are asking, grant supernatural utterance to every soul winner. Lift your voice and pray, Father, grant supernatural utterance to every soul winner on the go for Christ. Right words, keys to the heart of man. Lift your voice and pray. Grant supernatural utterance. Opposition resisting. Lord, grant supernatural resistance. Supernatural utterance to every soul when on the go for Christ. As we intensify our outreaches this month. Leading to massive salvation of souls. Lift your voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Grant supernatural utterance. 
to everyone sowing on the go for Christ. The right words for each environment. The right word for each circumstance and situation. The right word, forcible right words. Grant supernatural utterance that will not be resisted. Leading to massive salvation of souls for everyone so winner that is on the go for Jesus Christ this month. Is somebody praying is God hearing your own voice? Make sure you are not muted. Make sure you are not silent. Ensure your voice is heard in heaven. Make it a prayer of faith. We are saying, Father, grant supernatural utterance. To every soul winner on the go for Christ, as we intensify our outreaches this month, leading to massive salvation of souls, Father, grant supernatural utterance to every soul winner on the go for Christ, as we intensify our outreaches this month, leading to massive salvation of souls, lift your voice and pray. Hard speaking words such that they will call themselves, What shall we do? That will be the experience for everyone on the go. Everyone on the go, supernatural utterance. There shall be no resistance. The law will cause their hearts to be open. Lift your voice and pray. Grant supernatural utterance to every soul we now need to go for Christ as we intensify our outreaches this month. Leading to massive salvation of souls. Kakolelia resondeli petoloa. Oroseke te suzia garantalia berosi. Kabalalia se suzia ratoliaba. Blessed be thy holy name. Thank you, mighty God. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Put those hands together for Jesus and please be seated. Next, to be rising to prayer. We are saying, Father, we invoke the vengeance of the Holy Ghost upon all resistances of the devil against the salvation of unsaved across our harvest field this prophetic season and beyond. Psalms chapter 94, at verse 1. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Let's rise with me tonight as we go upon this prayer, the warfare. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we invoke the vengeance of the Holy Ghost upon all resistances of the devil against the salvation of the unsaved across our harvest field this prophetic season and beyond. Lift up your voice. We are invoking the vengeance of the Holy Ghost against all resistances of the devil. No matter the form of such resistance, tonight, we invoke the vengeance of the Holy Ghost against them. Every high place that is exalted itself against the knowledge of God across our harvest field. Tonight, we invoke the vengeance of the Holy Ghost upon such resistances. In the name of Jesus, every demigod, every shrine, every occultic powers, everyone that put their hands together against the move of the Holy Ghost. Tonight, we invoke the vengeance of the Holy Ghost upon all such resistances of the devil against the salvation of the unsaved across our harvest field, this prophetic season, and beyond. Let's cry aloud tonight. Let God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show himself. Lord, show up. Show up again tonight in the name of Jesus as we invoke the vengeance of the Holy Ghost upon all resistances of the devil against the salvation of the unsaved across our harvest field. Every resistance of the devil trying to limit every salvation of the unsaved across our harvest field. Tonight, we invoke the vengeance of God against them. Our Father, by the authority of your word, we invoke the vengeance of the Holy Ghost upon all resistances of the devil against the salvation of the unsaved across our harvest field this prophetic season and beyond. Father, tonight we ask that the vengeance of the Holy Ghost be released upon all resistances of the devil. You lifted up that resistance 
that vengeance of the Holy Ghost upon Elimas. He became blind instanta. In the same vein, we invoke the vengeance of the Holy Ghost upon all resistances of the devil against the salvation of the unsaved across our harvest feet. Everything contending with the salvation of the unsaved across our harvest feet. Everything militating against it. Every plan of the wicked. Every force from the pit of hell. Tonight, we invoke the vengeance of the Holy Ghost. Oh Lord God, show up on the harvest feed against the resistance of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, you showed up against the resistance, against of Ananias and Sapphira. Their lives were cut short. In the same vein, every resistance of the move of the Holy Ghost, uh, causing the salvation of the unsaved across the harvest field, let such resistance be made to God with limitation and death. In the name of Jesus, Father, we invoke the, res the vengeance of the Holy Ghost upon all resistances of the devil against the salvation of the unsaved across our harvest field. This prophetic season and beyond, everything standing against the move of God, against the salvation of souls across our harvest field. Tonight, we decree, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise in his fury. Let the enemies be scattered. Let the arrow of God pierce their life. Let the resistance of the enemy be brought down. Let the defenses of such resistance be neutralized. Father, tonight, in the name of Jesus, we invoke the vengeance of the Holy Ghost upon all resistances of the devil against the salvation of the unsaved across the harvest field this prophetic season and beyond. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name. Lift up your hands. Wave them to heaven. God has heard us. In Jesus' holy name, we are praying. Hands together for Jesus and please be seated. Please, let's listen to the following faith tabernacle announcement in this service. Number one, praise the Lord. Our week of spiritual emphasis concludes tomorrow, Friday 8th, both here in Canaan land and at all zonal fellowship centers in Lagos, Ota, and Environs. Remember, we shall be waiting on the Lord in the fast and break with the communion. Time remains 6 p.m. Number two, praise the Lord. The Word of Faith Bible Institute will be March edition. This two-week intensive course holds between 11th and 22nd March 2024 in Canaan land and at approved Wolfby training centers in Lagos and Nota. The mandate of Wolfby is to train believers for exploits. All our new converts and new members are admonished to take advantage of this for their accelerated spiritual growth. We shall be holding BCC and LCC only. For details on registration, and the training schedule for the year, check the Wolfby website as displayed on the screen. Forms are also available at all our Wolfby learning centers. Number three, Covenant Hour of Prayer continues tomorrow, Friday. Remember, this holds in over 600 locations across Lagos and Nota. Time remains 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. Number four, good news. Hallelujah. As earlier announced, our, our church or corporate outreaches for March begin this Saturday, the 9th of March, and continue the following Saturday, the 16th of March, 2024. To the glory of God, on the 23rd of March, we shall have a final church outreach for March, which shall be a mop-up corporate operation. To this end, the covenant hour of prayer shall be held between 6 and 7.30 a.m. on those three Saturdays. Number five, good news again. Water baptism holds this coming Saturday at all our facilities across Lagos and Nota, where we have baptistries. All, both young and old, who are yet to be baptized in water by immersion since they believed, are admonished to partake of this vital kingdom requirement. Remember to come with a change of raiment. 
time is 7.30 a.m. Number six, good news. <laughs> to the glory of God, this church has just set up an employment portal. Let's celebrate the Almighty God for that. <laughs> Hallelujah. This portal is a platform designed to connect members of the winner's family to employment opportunities and connect employers of labor to resourceful covenant people. Having believers in your employment is always a covenant plus. Therefore, all employment seekers in our midst and those with employment opportunities for members of the winner's family are required to visit the website www.winnersjobhub.com or www.covenantjobhub.com to register their details. Number seven, good news again. As part of our pursuit of the Kingdom Care Covenant, this church is setting up Kingdom Care Centers across our various WSF areas. This platform is to provide care for members of the winner's family in addressing various welfare needs. Further details will be made available to us on this. Lastly, number eight, praise the Lord. Next Sunday, March 10, 2024, shall be our Covenant Day of Fruitfulness and Special Communion Service. Hallelujah. In the midst of this awesome move of the Spirit, every siege of barrenness in any area of the lives of all worshippers shall be supernaturally terminated. A louder amen. Come along with your family members, new converts, and invitees for an encounter of a lifetime. There shall be three services. Times are 6 a.m., 7.55 a.m., and 9.50 a.m. Jesus is Lord. In this service tonight, it is testimony time. Please listen to the following documented testimonies, and you shall follow shortly in Jesus' name. Number one, totally rescued and restored via a committed soul winner. I was a depressed smoker and cultist prosecuted from my workplace due to a fraudulent engagement and my entire life was in shambles. I was given a flyer by a young girl who also invited me to the morning prayer instead of wasting my mornings smoking. I started coming for the prayer hour, but never attended Sunday service as I always gave her excuses. But I discovered she never ceased praying for me and always following up on me. After Three consecutive Sundays of avoiding her, I decided to come for the Sunday service. Let's celebrate Jesus. <laughs> that Sunday, I gave my life to Christ. I noticed the urge to drink and smoke stopped. <laughs> Hallelujah. I wasn't comfortable with my friends anymore, and withdrew from them. My thought pattern changed, and my life started having meaning again. I also engaged fully with every instruction given by Papa. I went out for soul winning and enrolled. I followed up on my converts. To the glory of God, my health is fully restored. And my infected finger healed. Also, I discovered the swollen in my testes had disappeared. I was previously diagnosed with an infection and have used many drugs and was now meant to go for an operation. I don't look older than my age anymore. Just in two months, my life is a complete amazement to myself. My mother and my neighbors, I thank the God of this commission. And the testifier is Felix Hu. One more time, let's put our hands together for Jesus. Number two, global recognition via soul winning. I strongly desired and believed God to bring 1,000 souls to God, to the Lord. I asked God how I would go about it, and I was led to read the book, The Man God Uses, authored by Oswald J. Smith. 
Afterward, God led me to open an office and form a unique outreach team with the sole intention of reaching out to unsaved souls. To the glory of God, our monthly expense was close to 500,000 naira, and we were able to reach out to 9,000 souls. Let's celebrate Jesus. 1,950 of them physically showed up in church. Glory to God. Unknown to me, as I was working for God, he was working for me. God surprised me with a global recognition award for outstanding cybersecurity leader of excellence in Africa from FOBA in the UK, along three other individuals who are active members of this church. In addition, when I returned home, I was given a letter of promotion, which I had been expecting. I returned all the glory to God, and the testifier is favor, Femi Oyewole. For these amazing testimonies, let's celebrate Jesus one more time. Let's put our hands together for Jesus for those amazing testimonies. Shortly we shall be rising up to pray, saying, Father, let there be continuous eruptions and interruptions of signs and wonders in all our services, thereby drawing multitudes into this church. As of the Apostles 5 and 12 and 14 are bridge. And by the hands of the Apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people, and believers were the more added unto the Lord multitudes, both men and women. In that scriptural light, let's be on our feet as we begin to pray, saying, Father, let there be continuous eruptions and interruptions of signs and wonders in all our services, thereby drawing multitudes into this church. Father, let there be continuous eruptions and interruptions of signs and wonders in all our services, thereby drawing multitudes into this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be continuous interruptions and eruption of signs and wonders in all our services, thereby drawing multitudes into this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be continuous eruptions and interruptions of signs and wonders in all our services, thereby drawing multitudes into this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be continuous eruptions and interruptions of signs and wonders in all our services, thereby drawing multitudes into this church. Father, let there be continuous eruptions and interruptions of signs and wonders in all our services, thereby drawing multitudes into this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be continuous interruptions and eruption of signs and wonders in all our services, thereby drawing multitudes into this church. Father, let there be continuous eruptions and interruption of signs and wonders in all our services, thereby drawing multitudes into this church. Lift up your voices, pray tenaciously in your understanding, and in the Holy Ghost, saying, Father, let there be continuous eruptions and interruptions of signs and wonders in all our services, thereby drawing multitudes into this church. Nephrodis Kerian Tenenosa, Repecato Ziladosa, Mekatila Biladosa, Mekeneno Zeprodis Ketelopa, Menenisheredosa, Rapakidas, Elabredisha Tenopa, giving thanks and giving praise. Father, we appreciate you. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Put your hands together for his glory as you guess it. Shortly, we shall be on our feet again to pray, and this time we shall be saying, Father, let the spirit of love be poured out afresh upon every winner to engage compassionately in the, in the kingdom care 
covenant. Say a bigger amen to that. Galatians chapter 6, verse 10. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Shall we rise on our feet tonight? Lift our voice unto the Father and pray this prayer. Father, let the spirit of love be poured out afresh upon every winner to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your voice and pray that prayer right now. Pray to Jesus right now, asking for the spirit of love to be poured upon afresh upon every winner in the name of Jesus. You saw one praying right now. Let heaven hear your voice. Pray a prayer that must be answered tonight. Ask Jesus to pour upon each and every one of us the spirit of love. The spirit of love. Lord God Almighty, let the spirit of love be poured out afresh upon every winner to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, and grace everyone, O oh Lord, to participate fully in kingdom care covenant, in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of love dwell in our heart richly so that we can participate in it, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray tonight, let the spirit of love be poured out afresh upon every winner to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant in the name of Jesus. Grace to do my part. Ask the Lord right now. Lord, grant me the grace to do my own part in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the spirit of love, Lord, dwell in the heart of every winner to participate fully in this kingdom care covenant in the name of Jesus. Is someone praying that prayer? Let heaven hear your voice. Pray right now from the depth of your heart. Call unto him right now. Ask for the grace. Ask for the grace. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus, let the spirit of love be poured out afresh upon every winner to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant in the name of Jesus. Grace for everyone to participate, to do your own path. Lord, grant it to everyone. Let the spirit of love, O oh Lord, consume every winner this season in the name of Jesus Christ so we can engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Now, pray that prayer in the Holy Ghost. As for that help in the Holy Ghost right now. Ne pare ke tale gale sale alo le pralia nota le grelia to zosia ke ta la pralia ke tale grale kato sale ano re pare ke tale gre ye zosia ke tale ra bara ka tale agre da pray the holy ghost pray the holy ghost pray the holy ghost demand for help right now from the holy ghost Spirit of love, le praliano, ye ketake kalo tale pralia. Oh Lord God of heaven, let the spirit of love be poured out afresh upon every winner to engage compassionately in the kingdom care covenant. Thank you, everlasting Father, because it is done. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Please put your hands together for Jesus and be seated. One more time, we shall be rising to pray. And we're saying, Father, continue to send us your multitude gathering word in all our services, all through this prophetic season and beyond, resulting in the explosive growth of this church. Amen. At 13.44, and the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. Shall we please rise to our feet, lift our voice, and say, Father, continue to send us your multitude gathering world in all our services, all through this prophetic season and beyond, resulting in the explosive growth of this church. Our God and our Father, continue to send us your multitude gathering world in all our services, all through this prophetic season and beyond, resulting in the explosive growth of this church. Somebody lift your voice and pray this line of prayer that must be answered tonight asking the father to continue to send us his multitude gathering world in all our services all through this prophetic season and beyond resulting in the explosive growth of this church for the next Sabbath day 
the whole city, almost the whole city came together for to hear the word of God. Lord, let this be our experience in all our services as you continue to send us your multitude gathering world all through this prophetic season and beyond, resulting in the explosive growth of this church. Our God and our Father, we are asking tonight for your multitude gathering world in all our services that you will continue to send us uh, this kind uh, of word uh, all through this prophetic season and beyond, uh, resulting in the explosive growth uh, of this church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, let your word uh, that gather the city, let your word uh, that draws uh, the multitude, let your word that compels uh, the flow of multitude uh, be sent continually in all our services, all through this prophetic season and beyond, uh, resulting in the explosive growth uh, of this church. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, somebody is praying tonight, uh, you are praying the Holy Ghost, you are praying in the name of Jesus, you are engaging your heart uh, on the altar of prayer tonight, uh, asking the Father to continue to send us uh, his multitude gathering world uh, in all our services. Uh, for where the carcass is, uh, there the eagles will be gathered together. Our God and our Father, we are asking therefore that you will continue to send us uh, in all our services, all through this prophetic season, your multitude gathering world, uh, your multitude compelling world, uh, your multitude attracting world, uh, in the name of Jesus, thereby resulting in the explosive growth uh, of this church. Nisinda, Marenta, Eprakotalende, Isizuziaba, Kaparataya, Ekakota Lambradagada. Our God and our Father, continue to send us your multitude gathering word and all our services all through this prophetic season and beyond, resulting in the explosive growth of this church. In the name of Jesus, let your word that compels uh, the gathering of the multitude uh, be released uh, in all our services every time we gather in the morning covenant hour of prayer in the midweek services even in our Sunday specialized services let your word uh, that gather the multitude flow like never before all through this prophetic season and beyond uh, bringing about uh, the in gathering of explosive uh, multitude uh, leading to the explosive growth of this church. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands, give God thanks because he has had us. Father, we thank you because you have had us. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Please be seated celebrate Jesus. It's time for personal supplication. The scriptures in Job chapter 23 at verse 14 says, He performed the things that are appointed for me. There are many of such things are with him. Tonight we'll be taking time out to speak to the performer God concerning your personal expectations and also your kingdom advancement project for this prophetic season. Please take any position as we go before the Lord tonight.
Make sure you are speaking to God tonight. Express your desire to the performer God. Speak to him concerning your soul winning project in this prophetic season. Rise on your feet tonight and begin to pray in the Spirit, for the Spirit helpeth our infirmities and intercedeth for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Zentum Pratelia Rotezusa Patalia Lecato Sepran de Shaklelia de Tana. Begin to thank him. The performer God has had you tonight. Thank him. The performer God has had you tonight. Give him praise. Give him the glory. Wave your hands to him. Father, thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please be seated. Praise the Lord. Right now in this service tonight, it's offering time. Offering time. So shall it be for us all in Jesus' name. Quickly package your worship seed if you haven't done so. Label it very clearly and joyfully, gladly, with excitement. Let's get ready right now to worship God with our substance. Remember, you can give in cash properly packaged and clearly labeled in an envelope in case you are writing check tonight for your seed. Do so in favor of Faith Tabernacle Canaan Land. You can as well take advantage of any of our electronic giving channels. If you check the screen, you'll find the required information concerning that right now. Praise God. As we give tonight, let's take our anchor scripture from Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18. The Bible is very clear about this. It says, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth power to get wealth. Power to get wealth belongs to God. And when we give unto God, we show that we remember that this power comes from him. Therefore, as we give upwards tonight to the God who is never in name, that power to get wealth shall be released more to us in Jesus' name. Let me hear you believe in Amen. Please rise up on your feet, take your seat right now in your hand, and let's lift it up unto God and worship him with excitement, glorify him. Lift up your seat and lift up your voice. Thank him. Present your seat. Worship him. Praise him. Glorify his name. Let him know you acknowledge the fact that the power to get wealth comes from him. Father, we give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please keep 
your seat lifted up to God as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we have come with financial seed tonight to worship you. From whom the power to get wet comes. Let our seed be acceptable to every giver tonight. Let every financial challenge be turned to testimony. Such that this hand shall never lack again. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's say loud and believe in it. Amen. Amen. Please take your seat and cast your seat with joy as we welcome the praise team to minister. Jesus, my head. 
Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hand to heaven, everybody, and let's give glory to God tonight for the privilege, the honor, the blessing, the opportunity he has given to us to be here in his presence yet again tonight. Lift your hand, lift your voice, and appreciate God from the depth of your heart. Appreciate God from the depth of your heart. Glorify God from the depth of your heart. Celebrate him from the depth of your heart. Lord, we have come to give you the praise. We have come to give you the glory. We have come to give you the honor. We have come to give you adoration. Blessed be your name, and blessed be your name, and blessed be your name. Now, let's ask him right now for an encounter tonight. Lord, I've come to encounter you tonight. Send me your word tonight with power. Let my own word come tonight. My own takeaway package, let it come tonight. Let the word of this night transform my life. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Lord Jesus, tonight we are grateful for the privilege you have given to us to be here in your presence again. Our eyes are fixed on you, asking that tonight you will send us your word. Let your word transform every one of our lives. We thank you because we know you have done it already. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. amen. Give Jesus a big hand of praise and please, you may be seated in his presence. Praise God, fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations, amen and amen. We began looking at this line of teachings yesterday as we began in this week of spiritual emphasis and these teachings run all through our midweek services for the month of March. And it's tagged unveiling the breakthrough power of kingdom stewardship. Unveiling the breakthrough power of kingdom stewardship. We're reminded again that the theme of this month is serving God pays the most. And for each one of us, the returns of serving God in this month will answer openly for us in the name of Jesus Christ. By way of introduction, we were made to understand yesterday that the end time church is ordained as a breakthrough church. The end time church is ordained by God as a breakthrough church. In the book of Psalm chapter 87 verse 1 to 7, the Bible paints the picture of this end time church to us. And in particular, the fifth to seventh verse of that scripture is very instructive. The Bible says, verse 5 down to verse 7, it said to us there, And of Zion it shall be said that this and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. He said, The Lord shall count when he writeth of the people that this man was born there. All of my springs... I indeed. So according to scriptures, Zion in the end time is ordained by God to be a gathering of breakthrough entities. Men and women who will be breakthrough personified. That is God's ordination for the end time church. In the book of Micah chapter 4 verse 1 and 2, the Bible says that in the last days, he said, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established at the top of the mountain. And it shall be exalted above the hills. And people shall flow unto it. And it says in verse 2, many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his path. For the law will go forth out of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. So the end time church is a breakthrough company. It is a gathering of men and women that will attract the attention of nations. Drawing them to the kingdom. He said the mountain of the Lord's house will be above all the mountains and will be exalted above all the hills. That is God's picture of the end time church. And we're told yesterday that Jesus is coming back for a reigning and ruling church. He said in Psalm chapter 110 verse 1 to 3, 
He said, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit down at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. He said, the Lord will send forth the rod of his strength out of Zion, rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. That's God painting the picture of the end time church. This means that supernatural breakthrough will become the co-identity of the end time church before Jesus returns. It will be the core identity. You look at the end time church, you will see breakthrough being manifested practically. It will be our identity. I see somebody being a partaker of it in the name of Jesus. That's why we are told that 10 men will hold on to the skirt of him that is a Jew and say, we'll go with you because we have heard that God is with you. That is God's ordination for the end time church. But this, this requires that we engage several forces that are going to be pointed to us in this teaching. All through this month, we are unveiling the diverse forces that will position you and I to be partakers of this breakthrough package that God has for us in these last days. And tonight, we are looking at one of those forces in particular, and that is Kingdom Advancement Prayer Stewardship. Kingdom Advancement Prayer Stewardship. One of the identified platforms of service in the kingdom is the platform of kingdom advancement prayers. Luke chapter 2 verse 37, we are told about Anna. He says she was a widow of 84 years old. He said, who serve God continually day and night in fasting and prayer. So prayer is one of the platforms identified by God as an opportunity for stewardship. And the prayer that is a service to God is the prayer for the advancement of the kingdom. That's why when Jesus taught us to pray in Matthew chapter 6, he said verse 9 and verse 10 in particular, he said, after this manner pray, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Making the kingdom a priority on the altar of prayer is what makes prayer a service to God. So prayer is not a service to God except it is engaging for the advancement of the kingdom. Asking for what you need is not serving God. Asking for the advancement of the kingdom is what we call serving God. So kingdom advancement prayer is one of the platforms for our stewardship before God. In scriptures we know that Jesus himself still operates in this ministry of prayer. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 25 it says, he ever liveth to make intercessions for them. Not for himself, but for them. Praying continuously. So those who are standing on the altar of prayer to advance the kingdom of God are partnering in that intercessory ministry of Christ. Remember, Jesus said to his disciples when he was at the, place, uh, at the garden of Gethsemane, he said, could you not watch with me for one hour? Till now, Jesus is still looking for those who are standing with him to engage on the altar of prayer, advancing the cause of the kingdom of God. My prayer today is that for you and I will be counted among those that will be found. The Lord said in the book of Ezekiel and chapter 22 and verse 30, he said, I sought for a man who will stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it, but I found none. I sought for a man. I sought for a man. My prayer is that tonight, by the encounter we are having upon this mountain, God will find you and I to stand on the altar of prayer and advance the cause of his kingdom. Somebody believe it, say a loud amen. But we discover that prayer has a vital role to pray, to play when it comes to the advancement and the growth of the church. So the question is, how, what, what is the potency of our prayer stewardship in advancing the kingdom of God? We look at a few things here tonight, and I trust that the Spirit of God will give us light and understanding. Number one, the labor room of prayer is the birthplace of multitudes in the kingdom. The labor room of prayer is the birthplace of multitudes in the kingdom. In the book of Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 8 in particular, he said, as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. As soon 
as Zion travailed. So the altar of prayer is the birthplace of multitudes in the kingdom. If you look at the example of the apostles in the book of Acts chapter 6 and verse 4, they said we will give ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what was the result of it? In verse 7, the Bible said the word of God increased and, a great, and the number of disciples multiplied greatly and a great company of the priests became obedient to the faith. So the altar of prayer is the birthplace of multitudes. It is where we go to push to see souls born. It is the labor room for kingdom birth. This means that without engaging the altar of prayer, there can be no access to the birth of multitudes as we desire. Somebody has once said that you have no right to talk to men about God until you have talked to God about men. The altar of prayer is where we conclude the matter before we begin it. It is where the matter is finished before it is started. It is where the victory is secured before the battle begins. This is why we must understand the necessity of engaging the altar of prayer tirelessly. If you look at the early church, we are very familiar with the scriptures in Acts chapter 2. How that the Bible says, after Peter had spoken, the hearts of the men were pricked. Acts 2 verse 37. And they said to him, men and brethren, what shall we do? And the Bible tells us in verse 41, 3,000 people were added to the church. Men and brethren, what shall we do? And 3,000 people were added to the church. But what preceded it was prayer. Acts chapter 1 and verse 14. The Bible said they were together in one accord and they were praying. Acts chapter 1 verse 14. They were together in one accord in prayer, supplication. They were engaging the altar of prayer. And as a result of that, there was a breaking forth of harvest. Shout hallelujah. I said shout hallelujah. So the altar of prayer is a vital tool, a vital instrument to see multitudes saved. It's a vital instrument to see multitudes saved. I can't forget, last year we went to a particular location, going there for a crusade. And after we arrived at the place, as soon as we got there, you could feel the entire atmosphere was charged. And right as the altar call was made, people began running from everywhere. Running from everywhere, left, right, center, rushing to answer for Christ. Including the, the head of the OPC in the area. All of them just rushing to surrender to Jesus. And after we left the place, I asked, what happened there? What did they do there? Find out for me because something happened in that spiritual atmosphere that was different from what we have seen in the other places that we had gone. And by the time we asked questions and began to dig deeper, we discovered the entire place had been soaked in prayer. By the time the people came for the crusade, their heart was already open. None of them had any defenses. Everyone just rushed to say yes to Jesus. That day right there, that's the, right on that crusade, we saw over 700 of them just run from everywhere. There was nowhere to stand. There was no place. You couldn't look at the ground. Why? It had been charged in prayer. So no one could resist the gospel. We must understand that there is a spiritual push that causes the gospel to make entrance, and that is prayer. As we engage in prayer, the hearts of men respond to the light of the gospel. Please hear this and hear it very well. You see, we must come to recognize that people do not necessarily respond to explanation. They respond to the entrance of the word. And that word enters when you and I engage the force of prayer. We can amplify our results as we engage the platform of prayer. So prayer is one of the vital tools that provokes the birth of multitudes. Number two, prayer is the sharpest of all sickles of harvest. Recognizing scriptures. 
with the capacity to make the earth bring forth in one day and birth a nation at once. That same Isaiah chapter 66 in verse 8, it said there, as soon, he said, he said, who had heard such a thing? For who has seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? He said, for as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. So the altar of prayer, as we engage in advancing the kingdom of God there, it has the capacity to bring, cause the earth to bring forth in a day. And it has the ability to cause a nation to be born at once. That means that when we engage the altar of prayer effectively, the protocol of time can be cut short. We see unusual results in unusual time. Romans chapter 9 verse 28. He said, for he will finish the work. He will cut it short in righteousness. For a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. He will finish the work. This is so important. So the altar of prayer provokes unusual results. Where things happen with unusual speed. I've shared this, tes this testimony and experience before. Some years ago, we're going out for outreach. And every time we go out for outreach, there's a particular woman, an elderly woman. She will come back with a higher education paper full of people's names and numbers, front and back. We go out and we come back with some souls, but her own will be full from top to back. And I began to wonder, we are going out the same time. The time we have is equal. We are coming back the same time. What is it with this woman? So one day we're going on outreach, and I said I was going to go around her and hear what she's saying. Maybe there's something she's saying that is different from what we are saying, so that we can copy what she's saying and get the same result. And I went around her and I saw her gather a few people around her, and she began to talk to them. So I just paused behind her and began to listen. I heard what she said, the first statement, second statement, third statement. Everything she was saying, I couldn't understand it. There was nothing she said that I understood. And by the time she finished talking, she said, do you want to give your life to Jesus? And all of them said yes. I, I, I said, wait, oh, this thing this woman is saying, I can't understand it. Even me that I have been in Christ. Talk less of somebody that has never been in Christ. So what, what is it behind this woman? And one day I began to have a conversation with her. And she told me how she goes around the neighborhood. She will be praying and engaging the mysteries. And she said, Pastor, what I know is this. The mystery is entering the foundation. I said, what do you mean? She said, as I am sprinkling, as I am anointing, it's entering the foundation of everywhere. She understood that the battle had to be won in the spirit before it could be won in the physical. She said, it is entering the foundation, that entire environment. So when she arrived there, she was not riding on her ability to explain anything. She was riding on the fact that the victory has already been won before the battle began. We must come to understand that this thing is a spiritual thing. Let's not just engage casually. You find people going on and out, on outreach, no, they are not praying. They are even gisting. They are talking, they are chatting. There is a lack of understanding that it is a warfare. And the warfare must be won first in prayer. My prayer tonight is that for each one of us, a fresh dimension of grace to win the battle spiritually will come afresh upon each one of us. Somebody believe it, say a louder amen. Somebody believe it, say a louder amen. Somebody believe it, say a louder amen. It will come upon us afresh in the name of Jesus Christ. This is so important. So we must begin to charge ourselves as we go. When I go out for outreaches, on my way to the place, I am praying the entire way. I put a headphone to put that has noise cancellation so I cannot hear anybody's voice. Nothing is playing. I'm just praying. And I'm praying all the way till we get to the place. Just charging myself because I know that it must be one in the spirit first. It must be one in the spirit first before it is one in the physical. When we are driving in the vehicle that I drive in, nobody, we are not talking, nobody is talking, everybody is quiet. No matter how you like being a talkative, that time there is no talking. We, from there to where we are going to, I don't want to hear voices, I don't want to hear discussions, I just want to be interacting with heaven. Because I realize that everything that will happen on the earth 
must first be settled in heaven. And what settles matters in heaven is engaging the altar of prayer. My prayer today is that a fresh grace for continuous and effective engagement on the altar of prayer will come upon each one of us in Jesus' name. Number three, it's important to know that any church that maintains praying kingdom advancement prayer can take any territory for Christ any day. Can take any territory for Christ any day. There is no territory that is not takeable. The Bible makes clear, it said, there was not one city too hard for us. The Lord delivered all into our hands. Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 36. There is no territory that is too hard. There is no territory that is too tough. As long as the church maintains praying kingdom advancement prayers, any territory can be taken for Jesus any time, any day. Any time, any day. This is so vital and so important. And we must come to recognize that. I remember in my last place of assignment, I took a picture of Canaan land that had multitudes everywhere. Multitudes outside. And I took the picture and I placed it on the wall. And the question I asked myself was, why not here? If this is happening there, why not here? There is something that must be done. And at that location, we discovered that there was a lot of hostility towards the gospel in the area. In fact, we go out on outreach and they will be very hostile. And everybody thought it was a cultural matter. But I recognized it was a spiritual matter. So I took a team and we began to go out to pray. We go to the location in the evening, pray there and administer the mysteries. And we did that for several weeks. The entire terrain changed. When we go out for outreach, people were happy to hear, wanting to know. Sometimes we go, they say, we want to follow you back and know the church. It's not a Sunday, but just to know the church. We want to just get there and know the church. And you ask yourself, is it not the same area, territory? But any time you engage kingdom advancement prayer, any territory can be taken. There's nowhere that is hard. Any territory can be taken. That is why the force of prayer remains a vital requirement. A vital requirement in seeing the harvest delivered as we desire. Therefore, it means that each one of us has a call from heaven to us to continue to engage in prayer. Not doing so casually, but doing so fervently. Not doing so passively, but doing so passionately. Furthermore, we discover, number four, that the multitudes drawn by prayer can only be sustained by prayer. And this is very important. Galatians 4, 19, Paul the Apostle speaking. He said, my little children, whom I travail again in birth, until Christ be formed in you. In Colossians 4, verse 12, the word of God tells us there, he said, a paraphrase, who is a servant of Christ, one of you, saluted you always laboring for you in prayer that you may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. So it takes prayer not only to see them saved, but it takes prayer to see them stand. There is a demand for prayer to see those that we have reached out to stand firm and fast in Christ. There's a demand for prayer. Let's not forget, the devil is a thief. He said, a thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, to destroy. He's always looking for how to steal those that have been taken into the kingdom of God. He's looking for how to draw them back, how to pull them back. Remember, we are told in 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8, he said he goes around like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. And that is why we engage the altar of prayer. Even Jesus had to pray for Peter. He said in Luke chapter 22, verse 31 and verse 32, he said, Simon, Simon, Satan seeks to sift you like wheat. He said, but I have prayed for you. I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. I have prayed for you. So we have a duty to take up our new converts in prayer. Pray for them. That Christ is formed in them. Pray for them. 
that they stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. Pray for them that they remain rooted and grounded in Christ. These are all responsibilities that we have as far as the altar of prayer is concerned. Let's take note of this as we begin to wrap up. That what cannot stop the believers from praying kingdom advancement prayer cannot stop him or her from advancing in life. Whatever cannot stop the believer from praying kingdom advancement prayer cannot stop him from advancing in life. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19 to 21. Out of them will proceed thanksgiving, the voice of them that make merry. I will multiply them, they shall not be few, and I will glorify them, they shall not be small. Why is he decorating and glorifying them? Verse 21 says, who is this that has engaged his heart to approach unto me? Whatever cannot stop the believer from praying kingdom advancement prayer cannot stop, cannot stop him or her from advancing in life. You can't push the kingdom forward and go backward in life. Everyone that pushes the kingdom forward goes forward in life. This is so important. So kingdom advancement prayer will lead to the advancement of our lives and destinies. It will lead to the advancement of our lives and destinies. Also note that effectual fervent prayer of believers is gateway to noiseless breakthrough in church growth. As we keep praying fervently, as we keep praying passionately, you begin to see noiseless breakthrough in church growth. Those of us who were around in 2015 remember that the covenant hour of prayer kicked off in the month of March. The prayer altar began to burn, began to burn, began to burn. By May 2nd, the voice of the Lord sounded. Now I, the Lord of God of wonder double, am now in your midst. Between June and the end of July, the church doubled. The prayer altar was engaged noiseless breakthrough in church growth followed. This means that it is a natural sequence. As we engage the altar of prayer and do so fervently and passionately, we see noiseless breakthrough, comfort as the result. The good news is that for each one in this particular season, we will see it repeated in greater fashion. Somebody believe it, say loud amen. I said somebody believe it, say louder amen. Now there's Two examples of kingdom prompt intercessors in scriptures. And we're going to just identify them quickly. Just to fortify our faith with these examples. Number one is Abraham. Abraham was a passionate intercessor. In the book of Genesis chapter 18, verse 17 down to verse 33. We saw how he stood in the gap for Sodom and Gomorrah. What was the conclusion of the matter with Abraham? Abraham became a generational blessing. He was committed to prayer. He stood in the gap. He stood on their behalf. He engaged before God with passion. And we saw Abraham become a generational blessing. His life till tomorrow remains an example for others to follow. We still talk about the blessing of Abraham till now. Why? Because he stood his ground in his stewardship before God. Number two example is the example of Paul. Paul was an addicted intercessor. Addicted intercessor. If you check all through the epistles, one of the interesting things you will discover is that in practically all the epistles of Paul, you will see different places of prayer. Praying everywhere. That's why he could say, pray without ceasing. That was his life. That's why I could say, praying us always with all prayers. That was his life. He was an addict to prayer. He was committed to prayer. That was his lifestyle. Everywhere he went, you find Paul, you found Paul the apostle engaging the altar of prayer with passion and with fervency. No wonder he that came last became first. He was the last of the apostles but became the prince of the apostles on the basis of his engagement. He said, I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. 
Somebody say, hey, but Paul, that is grace that just made him great like that. It's true, grace made him great. But one of the contact points of grace is prayer. Let us come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The more we pray, the more grace we contact. The more grace we contact, the greater we become. That was the story of Paul. He kept engaging, God kept engracing. As God kept engracing, greatness kept, kept coming. That was the story of Paul. That's how he went from the back to the front. Take note, it doesn't matter where you start. What matters is where you end. You can start from the ground, but if you stay with God on the ground, he will take you to the top. That's what became of Paul the apostle. Therefore, in this season, I'd like each one of us to reposition ourselves on the altar of prayer. Let us take a quality decision. I'm not going to be passive anymore. I will no longer be casual anymore. I will take new fire on my prayer altar to produce definite and tangible results. I see grace coming upon each one of us to back up this decision in the name of Jesus Christ. Will you lift your hand before the Lord tonight and let us give thanks to him for his word that we received tonight. Lord, thank you for your word that has come my way. I give you the praise. I give you the glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Before we go any further tonight, the starting point of any individual in their journey with God is the starting point of salvation. Coming to church is wonderful, but belonging to the family of God is what truly matters. Therefore, tonight, both here in Canaan land at the youth chapel and in all our various zonal centers, those who are seated tonight, you are yet to know Jesus as Lord and personal Savior. That is, you are yet to have a personal and individual relationship with Jesus. Tonight is your opportunity. Wherever you are, quickly stand on your feet. I want to pray with you. Tonight, I want to get it right. I want to get it right. I want to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. I want to become a child of God in truth and in deed. Very quickly, rise on your feet wherever you are. Give Jesus a big hand, everybody, as they rise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Secondly, there are those who need to rededicate their lives to Jesus. Something has gone wrong. You had been walking with God. You had a relationship with him. But somewhere along the line, there was a disconnect. You found yourself detached. Your heart started to grow cold. And now you can tell that that relationship is not in order. And you say, I want to return. I want to be restored. I want to have a new beginning. I want to have a brand new relationship with Jesus. Wherever you are, you want to rededicate your life to Jesus, quickly stand on your feet also. Both here and in all the various locations, God bless you. God bless you. I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. I thought somebody was clapping as they are standing everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. I want to have a brand new relationship with Jesus. I want to have a brand new beginning. If you have done that, responding to the first and second call, quickly make your way forward right now. I want to pray with you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Quickly, begin to make your way forward as we get set to pray. Let's give Jesus a big hand of praise as they come, as they come. In all the locations, make sure you are heading towards the altar right now. Jesus is calling upon you. Make it quick right now. Take a bold step of faith and begin to make your way forward. Let's do that quickly. Are you clapping for Jesus as they come? Are you clapping for Jesus as they come? Are you clapping for Jesus? If you are still coming, come quickly. You are still coming, come quickly. You are still coming, come quickly. It's not too late. Others can join. These individuals who are already right here. Let's give Jesus a big hand of praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, please, everyone in front, lift your hand before the Lord, both here and in all the various locations. And pray this prayer after me from the depth of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you tonight. I am a sinner. I cannot help myself. But I know you died for me. On the third day, you rose again to save me. Jesus, come into my life. Take control of me from this day forward. I will follow you, no turning back. I will serve you, no turning back. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen.
Keep your hand lifted as I pray. Father, thank you tonight for these precious people, both here in Canaan land and across the globe, wherever anyone is connected. Thank you for the grace that has drawn them to you. Now give them grace to keep walking with you all the days of their lives and never turn back. Thank you for doing it, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. Congratulations. It's a brand new day. Please just follow the officials and they will guide you in completing your form and then return back to your seat. In all the various locations, please follow the officials as they guide you. Shall we all rise on our feet, everybody tonight, and let's give Jesus a big, big hand of praise right now as we receive our Father to bless us. Make that hand bigger for Jesus. Lift up those two hands, everyone. Give God thanks for the prayer fire that's gone forth from the world tonight. And one more time, receive grace to engage. It's not what we know that changes us, but what we do with what we know. Lift up your two hands, everyone. Lord, and grace me to engage the prayer altar as a vital steward platform in this glorious season, in this glorious time, and all the days of my life. Thank you, Jesus, and blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Now, very important, going up in prayers and going out after souls have same effect. In fact, going up in prayer is what means going out, like we are told, effectual. Nobody has an excuse to be those eyes. You don't have to be bold to pray. Shut your door behind your closet. I see what's going on there. I will reward you openly. And what more, it keeps you ongoing. It keeps you going till old age. Because anybody who can eat can pray. Anybody who can greet can pray. We used to sing a song, good morning, Jesus, good morning, Lord. It's like going to greet God, communion with God. Now, tonight we are going to take this communion, partake of this communion. I'd like us to believe God for the prayer DNA of Christ. John 6:57. As the living Father has sent me, and I live like the Father, because he said in John chapter 14, whoever so has sent me has seen the Father, verse 9. And I live like the Father. So whosoever eateth me shall live like me. Lord, I need your order of prayer grace on my life. Your order of prayer grace on my life through the ministry of this communion tonight. Lord, I need your order of prayer grace on my life. Not talking prayer, but praying prayers. Not talking about praying, but praying indeed. Lord, release your prayer order of DNA into my life tonight. Turn me to surprise to myself on the prayer altar. Let prayer still worship come alive in me like never before. Lift up those two hands and pray. Pray that prayer. The mission of communion enables us to live like Christ in any area of interest. Lord, tear up a new prayer grace upon my life as I partake of this communion tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered. And his clothes were white and glistering. As he prayed, as he prayed, transfiguration took place. Lord, grant me transfiguration experience 
in this great month that you have brought me into. How many want to experience that? As he prayed. As he prayed. As he prayed. The fashion of his countenance was altered. His garments were white and glistering. And heaven was opened up. Heaven was opened up. Lord, I need that transgressional order of prayer in my life this month. Would you lift up your two hands? Pray that prayer in the spirit, please. Pray it in the spirit. Pray that somebody who miss it. Pray that somebody who wants it. Pray that someone who desires it. Pray that someone who creates for it. Jesus. Grant me a transfiguration experience this month on my prayer water. Let it become my usual experience all the days of my life. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Lord, tonight we declare this table as the flesh and the blood of Jesus. Let everyone's true desire tonight to pray like you become a testimony. Let this start tonight. Let this start tonight. Let this start tonight. Let this start tonight. Let the faith be strong in our outreaches. Let the faith be strong in our outreaches. Amen. Let the follow up be strong accordingly. Amen. Let the establishment rate be higher Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Now, you have said you will reward us openly. Let the reward be in the open. Amen. Let everyone's genuine fervent engagement trigger open rewards. Amen. And thank you for it. You. Lift up your two hands. Any other thing you deserve from the Lord? You want your healing? You want deliverance? You want direction? Call for it. Whatever you saw in Christ that is missing in your life is your right to demand for it. Can I have the stewards please come? You have not because you ask not. Whatever you cannot find in Christ is not permitted in your life. Can you imagine Christ being tormented by nightmares? No, it's not permitted. It's not permitted. Can you imagine Christ being tormented by fear? It's not permitted. As you partake of this communion tonight, whatever you cannot imagine in Christ is not permitted anymore in your life. Take your healing. You can't imagine Christ carrying sickness and disease about. Take your deliverance tonight. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Everybody has a prayer ministry. The Spirit of this and men ought to always to pray and not to faint. Not special gifts. It's everybody's responsibility. And in the precious name of Jesus, no one among us will fail. No one shall fail. No one shall fail. So for all nursing mothers, for all aged people, you have this platform, open-ended platform, to pray heavens down in this awesome season of spiritual awakening. Pray new strength to your life. Pray more so to the kingdom. Pray more so to be established in the faith. For all of us who are going out, you pray effectively, and then our outreach become more effectual. Everything backed up by prayer will experience God's hand. We need to experience God's hand this time like never before. In the name of Jesus. Any number of souls who desire to see saved shall be saved. It's your, it's your month. It's your new dawn month. God will spark off new things in your life this month as you commit to him in Jesus' name. Again, we declare every table set in this sanctuary across all our various Zona Fellowship Centers and around the world today as the flesh Amen. and the blood of Jesus. Amen. As you partake of this tonight, whatever you believe God for is turned to a testimony. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Please get seated. Every sickness is healed. Amen. Every disease departs from your body. Amen. Every operation of the devil becomes zero. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You are having an encounter this night. 
you wake up in the morning to a brand new world in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please take your turn as we may be directed where the priest team leads us. The zeal of God has consumed me. And let us together give God thanks. Let's together give God thanks for opening our eyes tonight again to see the place of prayer in our still worship and the effect that we should expect this month in our lives as we pursue after God and the of his kingdom. Give him thanks and praise. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. John 13, 35, by this shall all men know 
that you are my disciples if you have love one for another. The various platforms announced in our Kingdom Care Covenant engagement is to be part of helping make it happen by identifying, among other things, those challenged individuals among us that may never come forth on their own, but we know. If you see your brother destitute of daily food and you hide your face, you have not done well. So let's be part of it by ensuring that both from our cell system, our WSF system, our service units, and all other areas of service that we're involved in, that we're able to identify those who need desperate aid. It's not weakness to ask for help when you need it. And we can stand in their place and ensure that we're able to reach out to them. The platform is being put in place, and by Sunday, by the grace of God, we made full-blown announcement on where each one comes in in this kingdom care move. That's what we are faced up with this hour. And it's global. It's around the world. Well, let's start from where we are. Jesus is Lord. Can I hear your amen? Maybe some fellows have lost their stand with God due to pressures on their lives. It's time to recover them. Can I hear your amen? Some fellows have been active in your videos service platforms and we can't find them anymore and um, they are under pressure, under certain pressures that need someone to say Jesus loves you and then they bounce back to life. Can I hear your amen? So we're all involved. Jesus is Lord. Your goodwill is a seed. Can I hear your amen? I say your goodwill is a seed. Your goodwill is a seed. So demonstrate it in all the areas you can. Jesus is Lord. By this, all men know, so it shows. When you are in love, when you show love, it shows to people. It shows in your life. It shows in your endeavors. You was madly in love, and it showed this enterprise. Showed in this business. Just get involved. Get on board. We are in for the best of time. This will be the best season ever in this commission. As God begins to take on his people and decorating them and rescuing them from dungeon of shame and reproach in Jesus name lift up those two hands Lord Jesus let this kingdom care platform deliver as you have ordained it let it deliver to bail out people from dying bail out people from sickness and disease bail out people from depression let it deliver as you have designed it let everyone that you have ordained to partake of it be awake we are awake to get, engage and be part of it in the name of Jesus. And thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Tomorrow is the last day of our spiritual week of emphasis. And the last day is everybody's day. So something explosive is awaiting you tomorrow. Something explosive is awaiting you tomorrow. Please be awake, spiritually on your feet, and get yourself set for this service in the name of Jesus. Also on Saturday, we have our first outreach in the three in the series of outreaches this time commit yourself to it and watch how God will visit you and the sun will be visible in your life in the name of Jesus lift up your two hands go in peace yeah. may this night remain a night to be much remembered yeah. may everyone's prayer life change gear yeah. may the impact change level I pray that everyone, that each of us will pray over this time we find Christ. Yeah. Everyone will pray over, we remain in Christ, with Christ in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And I pray that the favor of God, the fair favor of God that we call fortune, will be made manifest in everyone's life. Yeah. It's your era of fortune. Yeah. May fortune shall be far from your tabernacle. Yeah. May sap shall be far from your dwelling. Yeah. It's your era of testimonies. Yeah. Humbling testimonies, tear provoking testimonies in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Every grace upon this commission begins to find expression in your life. The stress free grace upon this commission begins to find expression in your life.
The struggle free grace upon this commission begins to find expression in your life. In Jesus' precious name. Lift up those two hands and give God thanks. Everybody, give God thanks one more time. If anything great happened to you tonight, give him thanks for it. If you encounter any statement tonight, any word from heaven tonight, give him thanks for it. Give him thanks in words. Give him thanks in words. Don't mutter words. Say to him, Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I give you praise. Jesus, I celebrate you. Let's give thanks unto God and appreciate him. His word your praise. Father, thank you for it. Blessed be your holy name. You are worthy of all the praise. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Somebody believes the loud amen. amen. Let's share the goodness of the Lord together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations, amen, and amen. Congratulate somebody as you go. God bless you.